next one is the length and operation length and next one is the length and operation length and operation length and operation command is l e n command is l e n command is l e n now what is the use of the length and operation by using length and operation you can increase the length of the lines and also you can increase the arc sizes again you can increment the length and the existing arcs length and the existing arcs again see here cl means current length cl means current length again total length equal to current length plus extra length total angle equal to current length current angle plus extra, extra angle now see here first time going to design one line here length of the line equal to 100 length of the line equal to 100 okay then next again i am going to design one arc now i don't know the arc angle just directly i am going to design one arc three point arc okay now now see here now again i am going to increase length of the existing lines length of the existing, existing lines for that purpose i am going to apply the length and operation for that purpose i am going to apply length and operation command is l e n command is l e n again you have different types of methods you have different types of methods first one is the delta method percentage method total method dynamic again first one is the delta method delta means you can specify only extra length you can specify only extra length now current length equal to 100 again i am going to modify 100 to 175 100 to 175 so what is the extra length just you can specify the extra length 75 then you can select the side to be increment now i am going to select this side okay again again enter control z length and operation select delta method in this delta method you can select you can specify only extra length you can specify the extra length now 75 okay now i am going to select this side corner left side increment okay the increment depend upon the selection location selection location again you can see here again length and operation again i am going to select the delta again the default method is the linear method the default method is the linear method after selecting the internal command again we have after selecting the internal command again we have angle internal command by selecting this one we can select the angular objects now my specify the entire delta angle now i am going to specify extra angle now i am going to specify extra angle some on 50 okay select the arc okay again i am going to select this side what happened currently no increment no angle here just control j again select the this side okay that is about length and length and operation with respect to linear object and angular objects okay just write an up to this one l e n enter l e n enter l e n enter select select type of length and operation select type of length and operation by using internal commands by using internal commands by using internal commands by using internal commands first len enter select type of length and operation by using internal commands just write down the internal commands nothing but methods first one is the delta method next one is the percentage next one is the total then next one is the dynamic first heading delta first one is the delta in this delta method delta method 
in this delta method your input value your input value is your input value is only extra length your input value is only extra length select internal command as a delta 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 specify the extra length specify the extra length specify the extra length specify the extra length enter select object select the object select object with respect to increment side select object with respect to increment side select object with respect to increment side that is the delta operation then again same thing that is for linear objects up to this one is the linear object for angular objects purpose same thing delta select internal command as a angular angle part. specify the angular. extra angle specify the extra angle enter select the angular object select the angular, angular object simple thing just you can activate only internal command just like that for angular objects purpose for angular objects purpose for angular objects purpose you can select internal command as a angle you can select internal command as a angle you can select internal command as a angle that's it remaining same specify extra extra angle enter select object remaining is same now delta method means in delta method your input value in the format of only extra length okay now see here next one next one length and operation next one is the percentage now we can operate and we can operate entire length and operation in the format of percentage we can operate length and operation in the format of percentage now initial the current length initially the current length act as a 100% initially the current length act as a 100% now i am going to convert 100 to 200 100 to current length equal to 100 total length equal to again you can convert total length equal to now initially the current length act as a 100 percentage so what is the new percentage what is the new input value percentage again you can you can enter per input in the format of percentage you can enter input in the format of percentage again what is the percentage value here simple thing just you can calculate percentage value equal to 100 sorry percentage equal to 200 now again i am going to now see here now i am going to convert current length 75% now i am going to convert 75 unit current length of the line equal to 100 units now i am going to convert 100 to 75 nothing but decrement nothing but decrement again you can calculate here total current length 100 act as a 100 percentage again you can convert to 75 so percentage equal to 75 by 100 by 100 okay that is the percentage calculation nothing but 75 direct you can enter the 75 value okay now see here now my current length equal to current length equal to 150 current length equal to 150 now this 150 act as a 100 percentage this 150 act as a 100 percentage then i am going to convert 50 percentage 50 means you can decrement you can decrement up to 70 now see same thing divided by 100 now this is nothing but percentage calculation just cross multiply okay again your input value in the format of percentages just add by adding length and operation next one length and operation length and operation length and operation 
select internal command as a length and sorry select internal command as a percentage select internal command as a percentage select internal command as a percentage specify input value in the format of percentage specify input value in the format of percentage specify input value in the format of percentage specify the input value in the format of percentage okay specify the input value in the format of percentage now see here just i am going to delete these two now again i am going to design one line length of the line equal to 150 length of the line equal to 150 again apply the length and operation length and operation you can select the percentage specify the now the initial the initial current length act as a 100 percentage now i am going to convert 150 to 75 for that purpose i am going to apply percentage equal to 50 enter then you can select the side to be decrement just i am going to select this side okay that is about the percentage operation okay then again see here again i am going to increment this one to 300 percentage 300 means 75 3 times okay again length and operation select percentage now this 75 this 75 act as a now this 75 act as a 100 percentage again again specify the percentage value 300 then you can select side to be increment okay that is about the percentage operation all are the simple thing all are the same but the input value is different just that next one is the simple thing same operation enter the percentage value select object just like that select internal command as a percentage then next one specify the percentage value specify the percentage value specify the percentage value specify the percentage value enter specify the percentage value specify the percentage value enter select side to be increment select side to be increment or select side to be decrement anything total length i don't know the length of the existing designs i don't know the length of the exit length of the line but my i don't know the i don't know the length value but i know the total value i know the total value at that time i am going to use the at that time i am going to use total method simple thing the input value in the format of total length the input value in the format of total length total length is nothing but current length plus extra length just that select internal command as a just just say say the input you can enter input in the you can enter input in the format of total length you can enter input in the format of total length you can enter input the format of total length i don't know the start, starting value i don't know the current length of the line but i know the total length okay. at that time i am going to use total length of okay again same thing i don't know the length of this line but i am going to convert 200 again arc i don't know the stop angle i don't know the angle but i am going to convert total angle to Some two eighty degrees. Two eighty. Input in the form. Input in the format of total. Same thing. Length and operation. Select internal command as a total. Just wait. First time going to design one. Directly I'm going to design one line. I don't. I'm not entering the value here. Just to select the point. I don't know the length of this line. Just I'm going to design one line. Then after I know the total value. For that purpose, select the total. Total length equal to two hundred. 
select the side to be increment select side to be increment same thing again i am going to design arc i don't know the angle of the arc just simple thing len enter select total then again you can select the angle specify the total angle 280 degrees then you can select the side increment side that is about the total of okay just you can specify the total value just like that select internal command as a total select internal command as a total select internal command as a select internal command as a total select internal command as a total specify the total increment value specify the total value specify the total value enter specify the total value enter specify the total value enter select the increment side select increment side that's it for angular objects you can select internal command as a angle thank you okay then last operation is the dynamic last one is the dynamic dynamic is nothing but with respect to mouse selection with respect to mouse selection now see here now this is current length of the line now this is the current line now see here now one inclined line again i am going to extend this line up to this end point up and this line up to this end point for that purpose len enter select method as a dynamic select object to be changed then you can select up to this reference okay that is about the dynamic now see here what is the use of this part okay now this is the line now i am going to lengthen this line up to this end point up to this end point i don't know the distance value i don't know the total value at that time i am going to use the dynamic selection select the dynamic select object to be lengthen specify the reference point okay that's it just that dynamic means with respect to mouse selection dynamic means with respect to mouse selection select internal command as a dynamic select internal command as a dynamic select internal command as a dynamic select object select object select object next select the reference point select the reference point select the reference point that is about the length and operation then next one chamfer next one is the chamfer next one is the chamfer chamfer command is CHA chamfer command is CHA chamfer command is CHA chamfer command is CHA what is the use of the chamfer what is the use of the chamfer what is the use of the chamfer chamfer means what what is meant by chamfer by using chamfer we can convert sharp, sharp corners to or sharp edges to slant edges or blend edges blend edges okay now see here again actual this corner is now this corner is our actual corner point again you can remove material d1 and d2 now d1 is nothing but first chamfer distance d2 is the Second chamfer distance, first chamfer distance, and second chamfer distance. Now we can design chamfer by distance method. First one is the we can design chamfer by distance method. Okay, that is the one type of input. Then again, see here. 
this is the corner point again see here this is the distance okay again this is the angle with respect to d now this is the angle with respect <coughs> this is the angle with respect to d okay again this method is the angle method this method is the angle method okay now see here now what is the use of the chamfer what is the use of the chamfer just neglect the delete the or erase the sharp corners again you can prepare any product or any component with respect to round edges or sharp, sharp edges. edges why means the basic explanation is the safety purpose next one is the improve the surface resistance factor improve the surface resistance for mechanical purpose improve the surface resistance factor okay why you can prepare v notch why you can prepare v notch while toughness measurement toughness solid med strength of material lab toughness experiment why you can prepare the v notch again you have two methods i jod and chopy test why you can prepare v notch why mean simple way to find out in the toughness value again why means this is a sharp corner or sharp edge by designing sharp v notch simple way to find out in the toughness that means the measure toughness always within the limits okay again you can design in this format somewhat difficult to find out the toughness value okay now see here again we can design chamfer directly while designing rectangle again you have rectangle with chamfer rectangle with chamfer rectangle with chamfer again by using rectangle with chamfer you can design rectangle in the pattern of rectangle in the pattern of chamfer but see here again what happened all the corners all the corners having same d1 d2 same d1 d2 but my requirement is some 2 3 4 5 3 3 2 2 2 okay by using rectangle with chamfer we can prepare rectangle with chamfer with all corners same values by using chamfer modify tool different values by using different values again we can prepare only rectangles we can prepare by using rectangle with chamfer we can design only rectangular components with respect to chamfer then next i am going to design two lines i am going to design two lines again i am going to prepare one chamfer here now i am going to prepare one chamfer here any type of designs again you can prepare the chamfer here that is the usage of the that is the usage of the chamfer tool now see here different types of internal commands and different things now explanation purpose i am going to design different types of explanation purpose i am going to design different types of rectangles okay now see here command is c h a enter c h a enter now see what are the kind settings what are the default settings trim trim mode active condition trim mode Active condition, current chamfer distance d1 equal to zero, d2 equal to zero. No chamfer value, no chamfer distance value. First, C H A enter. Then you can select the method. Then you can select the method. You have two methods: distance method and angle method. Now you can select the method. Now I am going to choose first distance method. Then after you can select the distance internal command. Specify the distance. Specify the distance d1. Some Three units again due to three units. Okay, then you can select the first one, first line. Select the second one. Okay, again command is after completion of the chamfer operation. Command is disable condition. Again you can enter the command C H A. Again select the directly you can select the distance. Specify the value four five. Select the first one line and second line. 
okay currently now see here jump for what is the current settings currently settings is the trim mode active condition distance d14 d25 again select this one and this one okay then again how to activate the previous command how to activate the previous command what is my previous command jump for what is the shortcut how to activate the previous command shift or enter just enter activate the previous command again space space bar then again current settings again you can see the trim mode now you can see the internal command trim just select this trim currently trim mode is active condition trim mode is active condition now i am going to set no trim condition then again i am going to select the first one and second one what happened you can see the edges again these edges are untrim condition again you can charm for with untrim condition okay the next one next you can see the charm for again you can see the method method changes to angle. angle then you can select the angle specify the distance first time going to specify distance equal to 5 and angle equal to 45 degrees angle equal to 45 you can specify any angle up to 90 okay again select first one and second one again trim mode is disable condition set it to trim mode again angle 6 60 degrees okay first one next one that is about the trim with distance method sorry chamfer with distance method chamfer with and again trim off from again next my requirement is again you can create all corners of this rectangle again you can create chamfers of the chamfers of the all corners of this rectangle this corners this rectangle all corners of this rectangle for that purpose you can enter command as a ch select the undo means backward step again you can select the polyline just i am going to select polyline what happened before going to select object first you can activate the polyline first enable the polyline then you can select the object what happened all corners at a time now see here again chamfer now just distance changes to 2 2 okay then we can activate the polyline means again a entire design with respect to all corners again select this one see here all corners set it there is more values okay chamfer distance Five, five. Activate the polyline line. Select this one. Okay. Next one. Next my requirement is two chamfers for this rectangle. Again two for this rectangle. Again you can create one more chamfer here. Again for this. Again you can create chamfers of this rectangle only two chamfers. Again two chamfers. Again only one chamfer. For that purpose, C H A. That is nothing but multiple chamfers. That is nothing but multiple chamfers. Again with respect to different different values. Different different. values again again now see here directly i am going to select the distance first chamfer is the 5 6 select this line again select this line what happened command command we can see the command what happened to the command disable condition after selecting the lines operation is over chamfer operation is over now i am going to create the multiple for that purpose ch enter specify the first First, activate the multiple internal command. Then you can select the distance parameters four, six. Select the first edge. Next one. Again, you can select the distance. Changes to five, four. Select the second location. Still command is enable condition. Still command is enable condition. Again, angle changes to six, sixty degrees. Select this one to this. One. That is about the. Again, next set it to trim mode. Again, you can change the internal commands also. No trim. Again, select um, this one to this. 
All the people. Yes, sir. CHA enter. CHA enter. Write down the internal commands. CHA enter. Write down the internal commands. Undo. Polyline. Undo. Polyline. Distance. Angle. Trim. Method. Multiple. Okay. First main heading. Select internal command as a method. CHA enter. Select internal command as a. Select internal command as a method. Select a type of method. Select a type of chamfer method. Select a type of chamfer method. Select a type of chamfer method. In brackets, distance comma angle. Select any one of them. Next, specify the chamfer input values. Specify the chamfer input values with respect to selected methods. Specify the chamfer input values. Specify the chamfer input values. Specify the chamfer input values with respect to selected methods. Again, you can select the distance. Again, you can select the distance internal command, or otherwise, you can select the angle. You can select the angular internal command. Just select internal command distance or angle. Next one. Next, select select internal command distance or angle. Select internal command distance or angle as per the requirement. Select internal command distance or angle. Distance or angle. First distance. You can select the distance. First distance. Specify the first distance value. Specify the first distance value. Enter. In brackets D1. Next. Specify the Second chamfer distance. Specify the second chamfer distance. D2. Specify the second chamfer distance. D2. D1 enter. D2 enter. Specify the first chamfer distance. D1 enter. D2 enter. Then select the first line. Select the first line. First se select the first line. Next select the second line. That is the distance operation. Next one angle. Angle. Select angle internal command. Select angle internal command. Specify the distance value. Enter. Specify the distance value. D. Enter. In brackets. D. Specify the distance value. D. Enter. Specify the distance value. D. Enter. Okay, next. Specify the angle value, enter. Then select the first line. Then select the first line. Select the first line. Next, select the second line. That's it. That is the whole the process. Jumper process. Next, one more internal command, trim. We can set trim mode. We can set trim mode. Trim or no trim condition. We can set trim mode. Trim or no trim condition. Trim means we can also trim the corner lines. No trim means we cannot erase the corner lines. Okay. Next one. Polyline. For designing chamfers of a, for designing chamfers of a, for designing chamfers 
of a entire polyline design for this for a entire polyline select internal command as a polyline select internal command as a polyline then select the polyline design then select the then select the polyline just in brackets all corners at a time in brackets all the chamfer corners all the chamfer corners all chamfer corners at a time all chamfer corners at a time next one multiple <coughs> multiple for designing multiple chamfers for designing multiple chamfers with respect to different objects with respect to different objects for designing multiple chamfers with respect to different objects and with respect to different values with respect to different values and with respect to different objects first select first first select the multiple internal command first select the multiple internal command then select the first line and second line first line and second line of the different objects <coughs> okay now again you can change in brackets you can also change you can also change chamfer distance values comma trim modes chamfer distance value comma trim mode trim mode for each chamfer trim mode for each cham chamfer operation as per the requirement for each for each chamfer operation as per the requirement okay that is about the chamfer then next one is the fillet command is f just write down next one is the fillet command is f fillet command is fillet command is command is f what is meant by fillet again sharp corner to round again input is what round means circular input is input is radius value okay now see here now these are all are the round again input is radius value okay similar to chamfer operation the only difference is input parameter the only difference is input parameters now see here okay f enter now you can see the current settings current settings mode trim radius is 0 radius is 0 then see here first i am going to select the radius internal command we can specify the radius value 5 select the select first and second again first and second what happened after selecting first and second after completion of one operation command is disable condition again same operations here fill it what are the new commands undo polyline radius trim multiple just write the internal commands f enter f enter just write the internal commands undo polyline radius undo polyline radius trim multiple trim multiple so first radius select internal command as a radius 
select internal command as a radius select internal command as a radius specify the radius value specify the radius value enter specify the radius value enter select first line and second line select first line and second line okay first select first and second line. that is the general operation again what is the use of the polyline what is the use of the polyline just you can select polyline what happened all corners all corners at a time again next by using multiple different different fillets with respect to different different objects and uh, different, different values again changes to 6 this one to this one again radius changes to 10 this one to this one that is the use of the multiple okay then again set it to trim now no trim again this one to this one this one to this one Again, you can change the property by using multiple trim, trim mode. Again, this one to this one. Same. Polyline multiple trim. Similar to rectangle. Sorry. Similar to chamfer. chamfer. Okay. Just like that. Polyline trim multiple. Polyline. Polyline trim multiple. Similar to chamfer operation similar to chamfer operation similar to chamfer operation okay <coughs> that is about the chamfer um, total modified toolbox now see here total modified again these all are the 3d related tools again i will explain these are the different types of modification i will explain end of the class sorry end of the 2d Okay, now simple. This is the icon format toolbar, modify toolbar, arrays, offset, mirror, mirror, offset, array, move command, copy, scale, stretch, trim, extend, everything. Okay, up to explore. Okay, so tomorrow we will start the. Today, I just said this.